Hey folks, I want to talk to you a little bit about understanding program design, rep schemes, load, things like that. Every single year I get people who ask the question which, which tells me they don't truly understand what they're supposed to be doing. I'll get people who either ask the question, how do I know how much weight I'm supposed to use? Or someone will ask the question, uh, should I increase my weights every week? Um, um, or they'll say a statement like, oh, my weights have stopped going up. All of these things indicate a lack of understanding of the various forms of strength and the various forms of program design. Now, if you're someone with me, you're likely into a physique transformation process, whether it's losing weight, conditioning, net training, uh, physique transformation training, that kind of thing. These are not strength programs, okay? Even limit strength programs like power lifters do, all right? Even they're gonna have what's called a ceiling of strength. Everyone, a lot of people seem to think that the loads you use are just supposed to go up and up and up and up and that's how you measure progress. That's stupid, okay? Think about it. If there was no ceiling on various exercises, then whoever's been training the longest could lift mountains, all right? Like if you've been training 10 years, then you could bench press 600 pounds. It makes no sense. So for specific lifts and specific programs, there's going to be a ceiling of how much load goes into the program. Now let's answer the question, how do I know how much weight to lift? Well, if you have a program from someone like myself, and it says on it, four sets times 12 to 15, four times 12 to 15, okay? What that means is you choose a weight that challenges you within that rep scheme, 12 to 15 reps, which means if you chose a weight and you could only get eight reps, then that weight is too heavy because the goal is 12 to 15 reps. Similarly, if you chose a weight where you got to 15 reps when you were supposed to get 12 to 15 and you could easily get 20 or more, then that weight is too light. So your rep range serves as your guide in terms of what kind of load to choose. And that means if it says four by 12 to 15, you can choose a weight and stay at 15 for all four sets if you have a rep range. If it says four by 12 to 15, you can stay at 12 reps for all four sets. Or you could even surf the curve, what we call in my book, The Able Approach. And you could go one set, two sets at 15, and then raise the weight a little bit and do two sets at 12. You choose a weight that challenges you within the reps indicated. Your weights going up are not always a sign of progress, okay? That, that is for limit strength training programs when you're training for maximum lifts and maximum attempts, okay? That is not for uh, standard conditioning or physique sculpting, physique transformation programs, and you need to understand that. There's no linear line that says your weights are just going to go up and up and up every week, and if they don't, then something's wrong. Program mastery is what matters way more than numbers, what we call external cues, okay? So, no, your weights aren't going to go up every week, and no, you don't arbitrarily just try to lift more because it's the next week. So, if you're on a program designed for physique development, physical transformation, conditioning, those kind of things, your rep ranges are your guide. So, it says 8 to 10, it says 10 to 12, it says 12 to 15. You're choosing a weight that challenges you within those reps indicated, all right? Makes you breathe heavy, feels hard, you reach failure within that rep scheme, anything like that. But no, your weights going up isn't some arbitrary linear goal that's just going to happen. It's normal to go up and down in a zigzag kind of format that one week you can lift such and such a weight for four sets by 12 to 15 reps and the next week you might be able to lift more. Maybe your work capacity is improving. Um, but for someone advanced, maybe you lift a little less because you're, you're focusing more on form and you're focusing more on mind-muscle connection. You might actually lift less in that particular environment and that doesn't mean that your progress has stalled, okay? So it's, it's less about numbers, but you've got to understand programs are designed for different reasons. So no, your weights aren't just arbitrarily supposed to go up. Even if you are on a limit strength protocol, all right, designed for like powerlifting meets and things like that. Even then, there's a ceiling, okay, that you're after in terms of worshiping the numbers. But if you're not on a limit strength program, like most of my people would not be, then your weights going up isn't really the be-all 
end-all indicator of progress or lack of progress. Program mastery is the thing you look at and you choose your loads based upon the reps that are called for. And that's the plain and simple element of it. So I don't know why there's so much confusion about that after all these years, but you use the reps are your guide for how much load you should be choosing and you choose a load that challenges you for the reps that are called for. Okay, no more, no less. All right, that's just a good indicator for questions like how do I know how much weight to, to use? Should my weights be going up every week? Uh, those kind of things. So intelligent mind muscle connection. Uh, I hope this video helped and stay tuned. There'll be way more in the future.